So Boeing may have found a way to fix the battery problem that grounded the entire fleet of its newest and most advanced plane, the 787 Dreamliner. CBS News has learned Boeing officials will present their solution to federal regulators tomorrow. Lithium ion batteries overheated twice on 787s. One of the batteries caught fire. And joining us now is Mark Rosenker, CBS News Aviation Safety Analyst and former chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board. Mark, thanks for joining us this morning. Good to be with you this morning. Well, you know, it was really scary when we started learning about these fires on board, and now it seems that Boeing has at least a temporary fix. What do we know about this it? This isn't a temporary fix. Okay. This is the fix. If this is recertified, this is going to be the way this aircraft is going to be designed and operated. And what does it entail? What do we know so far about well, this? Well, Boeing has really uh, taken a look at this entire issue and put in three levels of safety in this new design of the battery. First, it's being designed so that it should not overheat. It should not short circuit to a point where we might see some type of fire or high temperatures. Mm -hmm. But if it does overheat, the cells, the way they've designed them, should not enable it to spread that heat or that fire. But if it does spread, the third level of security right. will be this box, this container that they put it in, which will prevent it from affecting in any way, shape, or form the ability of that aircraft to get to its destination safely. Okay, so three levels of protection, so to speak. This is all happening, though, without the uh, NTSB's final report. And uh, I presume the NTSB's final report on what the problem is could take months. But Boeing can still move forward? Certainly they can still move forward. Um, if, in fact, this design is as robust as they believe it will be, it won't matter how this really happened, although everyone is very interested in finding this out. Mm -hmm. But if they can prove to the FAA that no matter what you put at this, this, this battery, no matter how much power, no matter how much uh, potential uh, heat gets into the battery, it will remain uh, contained within its ability to be in this box mm -hmm. and not affect the ability of the aircraft to be controlled or continue through to its destination. It doesn't matter because at this point, it is a extremely safe, extremely mitigated uh, issue of, of potential damage. So we're looking for the FAA to give the thumbs up, and if that happens, the Dreamliner can take flight? That's exactly right. But remember, it's got to go through a real recertification process, because this is a new design. Mm -hmm. This battery and the way it's being built has got to withstand the rigorous testing and certification process of the FAA. What about the airlines that you know bought into this brand new plane? They haven't been able to fly those planes. What sort of effect is that having on business? It's been tough for those carriers that yeah. have used this aircraft, that want to continue to use this aircraft. It's been a draw. The public wanted to fly on this airplane. Mm -hmm. It is incredibly fuel efficient. It is a pleasant airplane to be a passenger in. Mm -hmm. So uh, everyone is disappointed. And clearly Boeing has been strapped because they've not been able to sell more aircraft. And they won't until this aircraft has uh, been given the recertification and thereby given back the opportunity to fly commercially. Yeah, again. and that was going to be sort of my part B in terms of how this has affected Boeing. Um, you know, they've got a great reputation for their planes. This is a little bit of a black mark. This is tough on them. Yeah. Uh, this aircraft is really the uh, cutting edge, if you will, of technology. It really is the 21st century of aviation. Mm. And it's an exciting new airplane, but they certainly never expected to see these two uh, incidents within eight days of each other. These batteries were supposed to operate without incident for 10 million flight hours. Wow, and lithium batteries are really the way of the future, correct? These are very interesting uh, devices that are going to be able to power uh, very efficiently mm -hmm. and very, uh, with great, great amounts of charges uh, once they get this, this uh, problem uh, resolved. Mark Rosenker, CBS News Aviation Safety Analyst and former chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board. Thanks for joining us this morning. My pleasure.